Hello to all and happy weekend to you. I am living the good life and every week I go out to estate sales and garage sales and try to find some treasures and I'm here to show you what I found. Let's get the useful stuff. I went to this, I think this is two separate sales continued and there'll be more because I bought multiple things and I'm going to parse it out into different uh, in different videos. So I got some useful stuff in the in the uh, one of the drawers there was batteries and why not get batteries for one or two dollars a package instead of six or seven or more. Um, so got the, all these batteries, Duracell. Uh, this tape was stuck to one of the batteries so I don't know what this red tape is for but got that. Super, super glue gel and then what's so funny is it it was um, phone week for some reason. I got this at one sale where I got the Lalique um, uh, you know, perfume bottle and everything. So this was at one sale and I had plugged it up. I still have a landline. And that one I got a dial tone. I'll need to use each of those to make a phone call and make sure that they work, that they're interesting. This one is kind of a reddish orange. And um, this was, these two are a different sale. If you know what this switch is on the back, tell me what it is. I, I don't know what this is, so it's just interesting. They're all they're all touch tone, no no dial tone. But doesn't that remind me of, you of the princess phones we used to have or want to have for our um, bedrooms, but we could never have? Like it's got the old plug in here, so that's what those were. Uh, this was these were all a dollar a piece. Can you believe that? I sold an old desk phone can't remember if it was rotary or touch tone for five dollars at a garage sale I mean it had been in our barn for a while I guess my dad brought it home um, so you know at least I'm gonna do five times my money if I decide when I decide to sell those um, got this Hinkle's knife in a drawer uh, I wish I was going back to that sale um, that's where I got all these goodies right here but uh, last day is today Saturday and you all know I don't shop or conduct business on that day because it's my day of worship. Got this knife for a dollar or less because the lady, uh, I bought a ton of food and I'm not going to show it all to you, but it was supposed to be 50 cents a piece um, and nobody was looking at the pantry at these sales and because the doors were all shut, nobody even knew that there was anything in there. And I opened it up and there was all kinds of really great canned goods and stuff. Um, and she just looked at the bag and it was overwhelming to her to even start to count. So she said, how about $6 for everything? So I got 25, um, I, grocery items for $6, which was excellent. Um, I also got this at a different sale, a desk lamp for $2. My mom's had the same desk lamp since 1970 and it died and we had one in the barn brought that out and it's given us problems too because it's the same vintage as the other so hopefully this one will last for her and she'll like it she's already worried that the green shade will mean she can't see very well but oh well uh, we have a, a really beautiful smelling candle and it was two dollars as well it's a really big one here's the kind Bellevue oh boy it smells good um, then at the same sale as the yellow phone, I found these all out in the garage and they were, uh, they said toys for 25 cents. <laughs> okay. These are old handheld games from the 70s. This is a Merlin. And I'm going to go ahead and put batteries in it and see if, see if it lights up or does any, everything. This was split second. And this one is some, uh, this is called Little Professor. And National Semiconductor Quiz Kid. I don't know. We'll see if it does anything. Those are interesting. And then the beauties um, went to a sale with my friend. We were able to get there uh, without anybody else. Which is the prime thing to do if you can. Got these two. And you can see nothing was priced yet. Here's this. It says weighted sterling and I'll tell you that I'm not buying candlesticks unless they're extremely cheap these were $1.50 for the set and $1.50 for this set of salt and pepper shakers and I thought oh they're probably lined and I, I looked at them and said 925 what does it say 925 Mexico yeah so these are taxco I think it's got a T in front of there these are really neat look at this little mechanism here you slide the lid over 
can do it with one hand, and then up, and then it is solid silver. That is just amazing. These weigh a lot. These, uh, I'll go ahead and weigh that while we're while I'm talking. But I went ahead and, and uh, checked the price of silver, and um, do it now. These turned out to be worth, I think, $59 after I did 80% of spot value. Oh, well, it doesn't like that. It was 38 grams. It was 138 grams, if I remember correctly. <sighs> Try that. Maybe that doesn't, maybe that's too much for it. We'll go to the bigger scale. 135. Well, it was 138 last night. Now, 134. You can tell it just moves around. 135. 135 grams um, at $18 a gram times 0.925 times 0.8. I think that that calculates to 59 unless I'm getting mixed up. So, you know, $1.50 to that much silver. That was excellent. And then this um, sale, I went on the second day, which was a Sunday, and um, somebody had just been in... Um, no, this is the wrong one. This was the first day. I'm getting all my sales mixed up because I showed you all those uh, spoons from the second day of that sale. This was the first day and the only thing in the pictures were tools <laughs> and some really modern furniture. It didn't look very good. This is where I got all of the um, food and on a table that they hadn't even taken a picture of, there were all these bags of souvenir spoons and I just got all of them and started going through them and when the lady looked in my bag, she just um, said like $5 for everything I had in the bag. And that was batteries, the knife, the spoons, it's like some Reynolds wrap, and a couple of other useful things that I'm not showing you. Well, here's one of them. Really old Charleston, no, Galveston spoon. So that's that one. And as you can see, it's a sterling on the back. Here's the little one, and this one is uh, Cave of the Winds. It says Sterling right there. Here's another little one, Denver. Sterling. Bigger one again, oh, wrong way. I think this may be a foreign one. Uh, Juarez, Mexico that and it has still has sterling on the back and then I took a chance on these two these are foreign I have such an interest in um, the whole time around water really just the um, the 18 teens the Regency time period of, of England and Waterloo and the Peninsular Campaign and Wellington and all that kind of thing and so it was really neat to me to get this Waterloo uh, spoon and I'm gonna do a test and I will let you know there is a little mark right here that I can't tell what it is but these appear to be um, foreign and I really like that one and then here's another one I think that is uh, Brussels again a little baby on top and it's got one of the similar marks here at the top and I'll let y'all know what that one turns out to be as well so I hope you all enjoyed seeing my finds I have more I really do I have jewelry and then I have a whole bunch of Boy Scouts and flags and stuff that I and, and other antiques that I have found so probably two more videos worth hope you enjoyed everything I appreciate your subscription and send me a note. Love hearing from you. Bye-bye.